there are different types of top surgery and it depends on which group of patients you're talking about. For the male to female patients, it's pretty much one operation, which is a variation of breast augmentation. For the female to male patients, it's more complex than that. The most simple of the operations is called keyhole operation in the community. And that's basically an uh, infraareolar or an incision along the bottom of the areola. Through that, we go through and remove the underlying breast tissue, and that's all that's required. It's only for the patient who has very small amount of breast tissue, already very small areola, and already very small nipples that are in a pretty good position on the chest wall. The next step up is what's called periareolar approach. For that, we make an incision all the way around the areola in an attempt to reduce the size of the areola but also remove the underlying breast tissue. The keyhole and the periareolar incisions have the highest complication rate and the highest amount of reoperation rate because oftentimes patients and their surgeons will push the limits of what can be accomplished in an attempt to avoid the next step, which is the double incision operation, which is an incision along the inframammary fold through that, we remove all of the breast tissue and skin. We then pull that down, give a very masculine contour to the chest, sometimes with liposuction. And then we take the nipple and areola and put them back on as skin grafts in the appropriate lateral and inferior position. So this always gives a beautiful result, but it always has the long incision 